we get into this video, I want to thank my supporters on Patreon and Discord. Without you, I wouldn't be able to make content like this and bring it to you. Everyone you see here has helped in some way. It just goes to show that my name may be on the channel, but it's more of a community project and I couldn't do it without their support. Special shout out to those at the highest tiers, including Katie Rose, Mikey, and Philip Hall 1987. If you would like to support me, you will find the links to Patreon and Discord in the description below. There you can find everything from chances to play multiplayer games with me to early access to videos. There are also some freebies too. Thanks again and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we are continuing our playthrough as the Federation. And yeah, I'm hmm, I'm kind of wondering what we should do. I think we should I think soon we should get the Akamarians in. Um, let me just double check the Federation Council before I say any farther. 20, yeah, so within um, about a year or so, we should get the Akamarian sovereignty into the Federation. I'm hoping then we can try to start getting bringing in people like the Klingons and, well, fingers crossed, uh, others as well. Um, so we do have some, I'm going to close this section for a second. So we do have a lot of um, vassals and things. If we look here at the Union's map mode, everything in this kind of Federation blue are our vassals. We're, we don't have any kind of um, alliances at the moment. Um, I'm wondering, can I bring you... I can give you a... Uh, an alliance, but I cannot actually... Bring you in as a protectorate. I think it's because we've only recently just finished war fighting our war against the Chalnoth. Um, you here. We could force an alliance with the Cardassian. Um, we could form a defensive pact with the Breen. Um, Ferengi. Can we give you protectorate status? Nope. Because Mostly because of your population. Um... Dominion, are you still fighting your war against the Borg? No, you have finished. You have finished. Okay. Um, Romulans. Actually, we were getting friendly with you. Pathetic. We can form a research agreement. Cannot form an alliance. And I guess probably cannot be a protectorate. No. Um, the Gorn. Oh, yes, that's right. So I think the Gorn would be great. So, yeah, you would go for protectorate status. Um, you would go for Protectorate status, mm -hmm. you just need to finish your war. Morali states, um, you... Oh, why don't we establish an embassy while we can. Um, the Husnok. Um, yeah, we cannot offer Protectorate status. Empire population is the reason, they're too large. Um, Devor. Uh, no, I think, well, try and get the... I'd like to try an ally with one of the... Um, you just absolutely hate me, that's absolutely fine. You can do whatever you'd like. I don't really mind. And um, Void Cloud, um, Borg, yeah. So unfortunately, I think we're going to have to go up against the Borg soon. More because of what they're doing rather than what I'm doing. Because we now have, uh, yeah, all of this, these vassals bordering the Borg. So I'm just thinking it might be a good idea if we kind of station some fleets round here because if they're going to attack if they're going to attack me directly it's going to be probably through a vessel which means we need our up here um and the only one who might otherwise attack is the score because they're hostile mm -hmm. but the ferengi for example you like me um the breen are mostly friendly oh no they're, they're mm -hmm. friendly the cardassians are friendly as well we could force them into an alliance as well um mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, the big ones that might attack me are not probably going to. Because um, that's not... They're not interested because they're too friendly. And, oh, what the Devor, you're also friendly. Oh, you're neutral, but more on the friendly side as well. Okay. So why don't we move our fleets so they are up here? And probably it would be a good idea. Yeah, the thing is I don't actually control this space. So let me undo the Union map mode. Um, Why don't I put my fleets... Actually, this isn't a bad place, because if we do have to fight the Borg, going around this way would also be just as quick as going around. So we do have these obsolete fleet here. Let's send you back to the um, these fleet yards here. There. Um, 
That also means, though, that I don't need these fleets. I mean, not that I don't need them, but we don't need them down here. These fleets actually should be farther up. Somewhere like, well, somewhere around here anyway. So if we actually... Ooh, actually, idea. We have fleet yards here. We can build, I think, as many fleet yards as we want. So it might not be a bad idea. If we... Uh, let's collapse those star bases. If we bring... Um... Oh, we do have the Seed Vault ship. Um, yeah, hold on. Construction ship, that's what I'm more interested in. Um, we could go, I think, for another set of fleet yards if we had enough um, components and all of that. Hospital ship. Suborbital medical vessels allow for the isolation of infected patients as to relocation in the event of an in-system medical emergency. Okay. That will be interesting. Anyway, let's give you some upgrades. First fleet upgrade. Uh, you're also there. Third fleet upgrade. Fifth fleet upgrade. Fourth fleet upgrade. And then all of these ones here in the soul system. Once you've finished there, oh, well, let's give you an admiral. That one. So all of these fleets in the soul system. Once you have finished everything that you're doing there. Let us then move you up here to the Agape system. And I guess let's move you to here. So this seed vault, I'm actually just wondering what we should do with that. So we can see, for example, full list. Oh, was it not in here? I thought the seed vaults uh, would show up here. Maybe not. I'm actually going to bring this one down to the soul system just because the soul system is well protected. It's not going to be near the Borg or anything. Okay. So finally, after six minutes, let's unpause and see Incoming what happens. Oh, non-aggression pact with the Breen. Yep, absolutely. And with the Dominion. Yes, please. In fact, Dominion, can I vassalize you? Demand vassalization. Um, upgraded. No. Not really. Oh, although it's getting Ships better. Upgraded. Ships upgraded. Oh, migration treaty. And non-aggression pact from the Chow North. Oh, migration treaty. Oh, which means, I think, that they shouldn't be at war anymore. Nope, they are still at war. Okay. Ships upgraded. Fourth fleet upgraded, that's fine. Fifth fleet upgraded. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Research complete. So, if we were going to build a um, fleet yard, we need about 4,000 more alloys and about 2,000 more... Um, components so let us do that so if we go like that that's five thousand more alloys so we should have enough and now we just need components it's gonna be not difficult to get but it's gonna take longer let's go like that and even go like that oh actually deuterium we are positive for deuterium I oh minus two well we can still sell a thousand and then go like that, and I think you then could say build a mega structure, go for fleet yards. Oh, system already contains fleet yards, so we cannot build it in the same system. I see. Um, in that case, let's build it in the Necro Nebula Cloud. So let's actually have you move up here, and let's say let's build it here because it should be kind of more well well defended. So let's go. There. Although I am curious about the Baryon Sweep. Well, let's build that first. In this one, let's upgrade and automatically survey. New research. Let's go for the um, monthly dilithium plus 5% because we are really losing dilithium here. And the advanced dilithium uh, refinery, I think that will also help a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More favors from for the Klingon. Uh, sorry, for the Romulans. All of you, uh, let's definitely go for anchorages because we are over the number of um, ships we can actually support. Anchorage. And I think all of these we might go for just silos as well. Resource silo, resource silo, and resource silo. So we do still have capacity for six star bases. I'm going to leave that though for right now because if we bring in, for example, the Klingons, they have some star bases. Two star bases. Okay. And actually, you know what? It might be an idea to start integrating subjects. Um, so, 2308, we could integrate you. Sigma Tama. 
Um, we could integrate you already. You know what? I'm really tempted. You know what? Let's do it. Let's integrate you already. Um, so, who can upgrade again? As can you. Oh, excellent. Just one code breaking against the Romulans. Uh, you can upgrade. So, we do also then have these fleets here. Um, where is this fleet? Oh, you're in Hala. Okay. So, let's move our um, obsolete fleets up somewhere where they're going to be a little bit more useful. For example, if we were to attack the Borg, um, let's bring you these three fleets there, and let's bring these fleets. Um, here to Higgins, and then we can quickly take over this section here. Council election imminent, we're going to get a seat, the Dominion and the Devor. Interesting. That we could reinforce fleets. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. Reinforce, we're only going to build one ship. So I'm interested about the Seed Vault ship. What exactly... What exactly are you? What, what exactly do you look like? Do you look like what we saw in Campbell Discovery? Um, see, Bolt ship, I don't think... No. Okay, you know what? Let's let's take a closer look at you. Oh, research it would of course complete. help if you were in a system. New research. Let's go for the... Um, civic slot plus one. Let's go for the command center. Probably not that we will use it. Okay, if we zoom in here, oh, that's an interesting look. All the different modules on that ship. Interesting. Unfortunately, we cannot see what's exactly equipped and all of that, but that's all right. Uh, Cardassian Union is a defensive pact with the Romulans. That's nice. Republic of Amara. What was... I should have clicked on there just to see exactly what or where that was, say. Oh, here we go. Republic we of Amara. Can we... Oh, Ferengi Alliance. Could we say Incoming form an alliance? No. You're hegemonic imperialists. So that's probably why. Score, foundation. Oh, yeah, where are you? Because you're rebels. Offer protectorate status. And we don't have enough intel, so we don't know why. Oh, yeah, because the brigand has cut right through the score. Um... Jihad. Interesting. Uh, with the Romulans, can I... Oh, that's, sorry, that's the Romulan. Um, Warm Alliance, minus 81. You don't like our war policy. Um, You here. We could go for an alliance. Defensive pact. But we couldn't give you... Oh, protectorate status, maybe almost. Yeah, so, oh, sorry, I didn't even realise I was still paused. So, these three fleets are moving up here. Actually, we want you to move to the Nebula Cloud. And you are going to take a while to build that, okay? Research complete. New research. Let's go for the, um... Tracking and accuracy. Let's do that. And we're also losing Dynelithium. Let's sell some Latinum, now that the price has gone back up. Maybe even go like that. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, we want Dilithium. Like that. Oh, understood. There is an unstable wormhole. Uh. Yeah. Nice. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Complications. Research complete. Ooh, Akamarians are ready to come into the Federation. So let's go for, um, yeah, let's go for the illustrious refit, I think. Although Proxima class fleet command cruiser also would be nice. No, let's go for the refit. And here, let's bring in the Akamarians. So Federation Council, review, and welcome them to the Federation. Yay! Construction complete. So, very shortly, the Akamarians will be part of the Federation. So I'm going to close... Oh, actually, Hamel Station. 
Uh, oh, yeah, you have... Apart from that, you have all the trade that you need. So, yeah, Anchorage was a good idea there. And now we're going to bring in Akimar. Speaking of, we might as well have another look at our sectors. Oh, excellent. They are now part of... And let's welcome you to Earth. So, Akimar. We do have another fleet yard here. That is good. Um, we are over our fleet limits. And actually, are these really worth keeping? That is the question. Is there anything we can colonize first? Because I see we have a colony ship. No, so I'm going to get rid of this because that's just taking, um, that's just taking up energy. Um, we have a second fleet, and we have a first fleet. But unfortunately, I think those are very much obsolete. So can we have these join our obsolete fleets? Um, should have ten go there. Oh, this one here. That would be good. Um, ah, although we can only have about 15. Oh, sorry, we can only have about 20 go there. But if we look at this and say, split fleet, seven and eight. Oh, no, no. Uh, sorry. Merge the fleet. And now I'm going to do this manually. Take you. Uh, wait, what? Okay, I'm doing something wrong. Hold on. Uh, there are 15 here. I want... Oh, just five. That's right. I want five from this fleet. So let's go like that. Two, four, five. Perfect. And then let's go for... You can merge there like that. And this sixth fleet... Um, let's have you merge with... Where was this one? Oh yeah, it was that one. Let's have you merge like that. So yeah, they will go merge with their respective fleets that they're following, all of which are moving kind of this way to set up. No longer can use demilitarization or trade embargo. That's absolutely fine. Complete. Speaking of, Gorn, have you finished? You have not finished your war. But it's almost. Couldn't be too much longer. Those borders from the Gorn, that's not so good. Wait, Gorn, I thought you liked me. Gorn? Oh, you're suspicious. Ah, you know what? Um, we need to improve relations with you. So let's take you from... Ooh, wormhole discovered. Hold on, we will look at that in a minute. Let's actually take you from the sector, because we obviously don't need that anymore. Um, so, wormhole discovered in Elthior 3. The question is... Uh, stable wormhole just outside of the system. So, do we have... Um, Anyone in Elthior? No, we don't. So I'm going to have to search for this a little bit manually. Um, go to... Oh, sorry. I search Elthior. Elthior is here. Research complete. But I don't actually see a wormhole anywhere. Elthior? I don't see one. Anyway, oh, deep space. Here we go. This is a, a wormhole. And this wormhole goes fully connected to the natural wormhole. Um, yeah, or oh, connected to the unknown. We don't know yet. Okay, that makes sense. So, new research. Let's go for the um, decrease in crime, because why not? And let's go for the oh, expanded fleet yards megastructure upgrade. Several independent suit on facilities into a single organizational structure providing significant productive capacity. Ooh, I'm interested to see what that is. Very much interested. Go like that and like that. Um, you should do the same. Construction ship here in Akamoa. Um, We actually cannot build anything, fortunately. So actually what I'm going to do, let's say disband. Get rid of it. Um, Score Foundation opened their borders. Um, ships upgraded. Form alliance? Yeah, okay, whatever. Oh, and you can no longer explore. There's nothing else to... Oh! The... Oh no, this is a black hole. I was about to say, there's a wormhole here. We could use that wormhole to quickly reinforce up there, but no. Instead... Oh, form alliance. A protectorate, that's because you're recently liberated. You will... Once you're able to, you'll come in very quickly, I think. So, Bagby... Um, 
Are we... Let's see where we're doing the most research, um, because that's what I'm basically going to do with that um, ship, is just help with research. So Finnegan Prime, Mars, those two already have one. Uh, zero, zero, 13, 146. So Pujem, basically. Oh, we already have someone there in Pujem. Okay, so not in this sector. Where else are we doing research? Um, plus nine. Oh, you know what? I think that's because of the stations. Yep, and here, we're not doing one there either. Mm -hmm. um, let's look over here at Akamar. How is Akamar doing? Are you producing research? You are. Very nice. Let's bring a science ship here. And let's say, um, assist research. Moving to the Akamar system. Yep, great. Uh, speaking of, there are some transport fleets here. Let's have you merge with our transport fleets. Yep, thank you. And Akamar Prime has its own fleet. That's fine. And actually, we have a station here, but we do not have anything... Oh, we don't even have anything built here. Let's go for anchorages again. Let's give you an upgrade. Let's replace... Um, this one with a dilithium manufactory. So move you to the top. And our station here, shipyards. I'm not sure we need shipyards here. Let's go for anchorages. Let's also go for the dilithium manufactory, which I'll move to the top, because we are losing dilithium again. And I'll leave it at that for now. And on Akamar, just to take a look at the, um, look here. Corporate, oh, the Orions... Um, oh, there are no jobs. That's interesting. Hydroponic farm, mineral purification. Although, actually... If I said replace this... Oh, you cannot be demolished? Oh, yeah, because I don't actually even control that. So, actually, I didn't even get any planets in that. Um, so, that's not that bad. Uh, Non-aggression pack broken with the Breen. I see. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So, Sigma Tama, you're the next to come in. We definitely have lots of planets here that we will need to worry about. Oh, we have you in Purdue. I don't like that. New research. Let's go for the, um, the sensor, I think. That should be good. Fifth fleet in the Bagsby system. Third fleet, you go upgrade. First fleet, upgrade. Ships upgraded. Yep, and you're moving up here. You're at 32%, which is great. Actually, I'm just wondering... Yeah, we haven't quite finished that mega structure yet, because I've had been on pause for a while. But we are losing uh, components. That's something to worry about. So let's go like that. Now we won't be losing components. Ships upgraded. Third fleet. First fleet. Ships upgraded. You've been upgraded. Why don't you upgrade again? Ships upgraded. Great. So actually now we just need to send you to somewhere with a planet and where we can help. Oh yeah, that's sorry, that's not a planet we actually control. Smith Sun, there should be something here. Assist research. Uh, which is not doing any. But that will change, I think. Alien Federation oh. formed. Romulan Star Empire and the Cardassians mm -hmm. voted to form an alliance. You know what? I'm gonna join that alliance, I think. Um asked to join alliance. Um, let's use some favors. Confirm. Hopefully we will join. I think the Romulans would be interested in us being in there as well. Yep, asked to join. Cardassians are interested. Great. So we have... Oh, we have joined the alliance. Um, what kind of alliance is it? Oh, it just says Galactic Lead. Okay. That's fine. And of course, none of our... Yeah. You're not going to be in our alliance, because you are vassals anyway. But that means we are now allied with both the uh, Romulans and the Cardassians as well. Oh, Gorn, you want to establish communications with us? Migration treaty with Cardassians? Sure, that sounds good. 
Uh, new research. Oh, let's go for the upgrade. And what I would like to see here, this mega structure, we can expand that. And what would happen? You wish to give the Breen? Yes. Um, Ferengi? Yes, absolutely. Open borders from the Gorn? That's great. You're still in at war, but almost done, I think. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give you an upgrade. So what do we need in order to upgrade this? We need 6,000 and 3,000 again. So let's go here and sell. Buy, buy. So that's 5,000. That will be our 6,000. And let's buy components. And that means, of course, we can now upgrade... Oh, we can only build or upgrade one megastructure at a time, so yeah, Ships we need upgraded. a little while. So, the next question is, who do we want to bring into the Federation? Because that is what we want to do. View list. Federation Council. Um, let's go for someone who's not part of our... Uh, for example, the, the Cardassians. They are not one of our vassals. Um, can we, in a session... Cardassian, Temerian Unity, we're bringing the men's Indy Council. Uh, Zindi Council is our vassal, aren't they? Uh, Zindi? Uh, have I lost the Zindi? Zindi were up here somewhere. Uh, anyway, I want to do the Cardassians. Oh, Zindi, right here. Yep, they're a vassal, so we don't need to do that. So bring in the Cardassians, that's what I want. And I hope they say yes. Oh, excellent. They've agreed to a session talks. Ferengi Alliance. Yes, we do want the Ferengi in our alliance. Orbital Bombardment. Uh, Prolance gain one free building slot. Resettlement cost. Nope. One free building slot. That would be great. Speaking of, it looks like our planets are doing well, just in general. Um, you can have an upgrade. And everyone looks like they have jobs, all of that, on Earth. Yet we definitely have a good number of jobs. Um, lots of clerks, lots of soldiers, positions open. Still build three more districts. That would be nice. Yeah, let's bring the Ferengi in. So let's now increase um, trust growth by 10%. And Gorn, come on, finish your war. Offer protectorate status. Yeah, see, I'd love to do both of those. I'd like to get both of those as protectorates if I can. So we're losing dilithium in 33... Oh, energy credits. That's what we're losing. Research go complete. like that. Um, new research. Let's go for the um, phaser relays. Oh, and what's this? The territories left. Yep, that's fine. And the Ferengi joined. Oh, and the Breen ended their association. Okay, interesting. We want to give the Dominion status. So let's say yes. Oh, we've gained administrative control of the... Yeah, of all of these systems because of... Because we've gained Sigma Tama. The Sigma Tama itself, I think it was just the Sigma Tama planet. And there's... Oh. Hold on. We can. We do control Sigma Tama. I thought that was their home world. Okay, um, that was kind of unexpected. Let's create a sector down here. Assign a random governor, not random, a new one. A doctor, for example. Great. So, on, uh, well. So, Sigma Tama can upgrade. Uh, you can upgrade as a bureaucratic center. You know what, I think we need the Orion to get the Orions in. Um, the Federation as quickly as possible. So, um, Anchorage, Anchorage, and an Anchorage, and um, Dilithium. Um, definitely need Anchorage, 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 and Dilithium. And here, Antonio Station, where are you? Oh, you're up there. Uh, yeah, we need Anchorage, Anchorage. Anchorage, um, we need a Dilithium manufacturing give you an upgrade as well. And Gaston Station, um, we need Anchorage, 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 and... Oh, we can give you an upgrade, that's... Oh, no. 
we don't want to do that because I want the 6,000 for the upgrade up here once once you finish this upgrade here. Okay, so actually let's take these ones. All of you can upgrade, so you know what, we might as well just upgrade, upgrade, they're obsolete fleets, upgrade, upgrade, another obsolete fleet, those are moving to, yeah, uh, oh actually what we could do then is say, all of you merge, and in Sigma Tama you're going to be obsolete fleet 3, because that's the number we are missing. Because we have 4, 5, 6, and 7, we have 2, and we have the normal one, so we're missing number 3. And then this one, let's have you come up... Oh, hold on, where are we sending these fleets? We're sending it to that system. We will send you there as well. Great, so they have been integrated. I think for our own sanity and for our own... Um... Oh, integrate object. 20, oh, 2308. That's right, we cannot Incoming integrate them just yet. Alliance Association, Ships let's say agree. Upgraded. We're going to say yes, we do want them, the Betelgeusean Convention, within our alliance if possible. And actually, if we look here, all of our alliance, so we, we are now allied with Ships most of upgraded. the galaxy, which I think is, a, is great, and actually it's also a great place Ships to leave upgraded. this episode as well. So yeah. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time for another episode of Jamie Plays. Bye for now!